Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Excel Academy is the best academy in Zambia. Therefore, I encourage you all to register with us. Nevertheless, in this class, I'm going to continue from where I ended on sets of numbers. Please get a pen and a paper so that you can follow whatever I'll be explaining. Let's quickly get started. So if you look at the two questions and you observe, you'll find that question one, I did it yesterday in the previous class. And in today's class, I'm going to do question two. So these are two of the styles in which your questions can be said when it comes to sets of numbers. So let's quickly get started. So, solution. So we have been given that set A is simply equal to set A is simply equal to block brackets 0, comma, infinity and then open bracket set b we have been given to be equal to open bracket negative 7 comma 12 and then block bracket then the universal set we have been told that the universal set is a set of real numbers this means that it's a set from negative infinity to positive infinity. With that being said, we have been asked to find set B complement. So let's quickly solve this question. So set B complement, the first thing we need to understand is that we are going to compare set B to the universal set. We are going to compare set B to the universal set. Since the universal set is a set of real numbers, we are going to we are simply going to demarcate the negatives from the positives. Whereby this side is negative infinity, then this side is positive infinity. After doing that, we are going to illustrate set B on this same number line. So set B we have been told that it is from negative 7 to positive 12. And then we have been told that set B is simply equal to open bracket negative 7 comma 12 block bracket. We know that when you have this type of bracket, you simply use unshaded circle to just symbolize that. A given letter or number is not part of the set. Then we know that when we have this type of brackets, which are the block brackets, that simply means that we are going to use a shaded circle. After doing that, we need to understand one thing, that since this is one set, we are going to connect these two numbers so that we indicate that this is set B. Now, the question is asking us to find B complement, meaning we look for numbers or members which are not in B, of which we are going to know that this is a region of which is having members which are not in B. But we need to analyze this point. So to analyze this point, we are going to say negative 7, it's not in set B. That means that negative 7 is in B complement. So we are going to go in this direction. We go this side. We check. Is 12 in set B? Yes, it is. That means that set, uh, 12 is not in set B complement. Therefore, we are going to go like that. So after doing that, we can easily show the, the 
Facet B complement, which is simply equal to open negative infinity, comma, seven block bracket. Union, we are going to say open 12, comma, positive infinity, open. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was a set which we were asked to do to find. In other words, we can show this work on a number line by simply saying there you have you have negative seven and then there you have twelve. Then you just say since seven is part of the answer, you just shade and you go this side. And then since twelve is not part of the answer, you do the unshaded circle and you go that side. The new have represented the work for B complement. Let me quickly go on the next question. The next question, we have been asked to find B minus A. B minus A. So in this case, we are just comparing two sets, which is set B and set A. In, to do that, we are going to draw the number line once again. So on this number line this time around, we are going to show set B and set A on the same number line. Let's quickly do that. We are going to start with set B. Set B is simply equal to negative 7, comma 12, and then broke bracket. So we are going to write negative 7 there and also 12 there. Then we look for the for the brackets, what they mean. So this bracket simply mean that seven is not part of the answer. So we are going to use the unshaded circle. Then when we talk of 12, it is part of the answer. We are going to use the shaded circle. When we connect these two, we are just making set B. We are comparing set B to set A. So set A, we are going to draw it. Set A, we are starting from 0, going to positive infinity, of which 0 is part of the answer, because we have been given 0, comma, positive infinity, of which 0 is part of the answer. So we are going to shade like that. Then we are going to go this direction. Remember, the inverse is from negative infinity to positive infinity. After doing that, we are removing set A from set B. So when removing set A from set B, we are simply looking for this portion. Because this is set B and that is set A. Now, let's quickly look at the interval where we are having B minus A. So the interval is between negative 7 and 0. But we need to ask ourselves, is 0 in set A? Yes, it is. Since 0 is in set A, that means that when getting rid of A from B, we are going with 0, meaning our answer will not have a 0. Let's quickly look at 7. seven negative 7 is not affected. Therefore, it's going to maintain the way it is. As a result, this was the solution for that question. Not only that, we can represent this work using the number line. Let's quickly show this work on the number line. So we have zero to demarcate negative from positives. Then we can have negative infinity. We can also have positive infinity. Now let's look at our answer. We are saying zero is not part of the solution. Therefore, we are going to put unshaded circle. Let's look at negative 7. Negative 7 is also not part of the answer. Therefore, we are going to use, once again, the unshaded. And then we connect these two sets. With this being written, we have solved B minus A. Let's quickly go to the next one. The next one we have been told is to look for open bracket 
a minus b cross bracket union b minus a open bracket ladies and gentlemen remember b minus a you have already solved it from there so the next question we are just going to look for a minus b so to do that we once again draw the number line so when we draw the number line we are going to show set a on this same number line so set a is simply zero which is included to what to positive infinity then when we talk of b b is simply starting from negative 7 to 12 of which we have said that 7 in negative 7 is not part of the answer but 12 is part of the answer and then we are going to connect these two points together knowing that this is set b and this is set a so let's quickly remove b from set a so when we remove b from set a we are simply remaining with this section so we are having the interval for a minus b the interval we are having it is 12 comma positive infinity but the question is is 12 in b yes it is that means that this 12 is not part of our answer as a result this was the final answer for our question i'm sure we can all remember what we found for b minus a which was just simply equal to um, which was just simply equal to what is on top here which is negative 7 comma 0 of which both are not part of the answer so negative 7 comma 0 both are not part of the answer so we can simply show these two sets on one single number line so let's quickly do that so we can draw a line like that we can quickly draw a line like that we demarcate zero to 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 demarcate positives and negatives so we have negative infinity and positive infinity then we are saying b minus a is starting from negative zero to what to negative seven to zero of which both are not part of the solution there we are this is for b minus a so when we join these guys this is how it's going now let's show the other guy the other guy which is a minus uh which is a minus b it is from 12 to positive infinity so it is starting from here which is 12 to positive infinity and it's not part of the answer so it's going all the way this round so this was a uh, b minus a and this is a minus b since we are looking for the union we are just simply going to connect these two sets therefore we are going to say a minus b union b minus a is simply equal to open bracket negative 7 comma 0 open bracket union you are going to say open bracket 12 comma positive infinity open bracket so ladies and gentlemen these were the solutions for our question 2 please make sure that you watch the previous video for question 1 because question 1 was solved in the previous video with that being said i encourage you guys to register with excel academy by simply whatsapping the line which i'm writing down there so please whatsapp us and we will respond to you excel academy has been offering a level classes for over three years now please register with us and be part of the big family thank you very much 
and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day.